Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I'm glad. I just waited a little bit for some of your friends. Alaikum salam, Kanita. Okay, I see some of you already have your cameras on. As you guys already know, it's a rule in this class. All cameras must be on, right? You have nothing to be shy for. And the famous question comes, we'll be having... Will we be having this early by today? Yes, you will, inshallah. If your camera doesn't turn on, don't worry. But if it does turn on, and if you're shy to turn it on, don't be. We're not here to judge you, okay? We're here to learn and to have fun. Please turn it, them on because I need to see your faces. I need to see who here is new, who here is coming back. Okay, I keep, thank you. <laughs> okay, now, as we wait for Ms. Reba, who wants to be the first one to go and tell us how their Ramadan pledge, like uh, the charity thing is going, raising money? Who wants to go first and update us? what you've been doing, if you haven't started yet, like if you started like just yesterday, you can as well, uh, start as well and tell us like your idea and what you're gonna do and how's it going. I see a lot of you are coming in. Okay, who wants to go? I think Nadine had her hand up. Guys, please keep your cameras on because I need to see who, who wants to answer and who's raising their hand. Ms. Reba will join us shortly, okay? So who wants to go first? Come on, how much money have you raised? Okay, Nadine, go. Um, well, I haven't really started selling, but I was, um, I just started planning what to sell today. And what have you decided on? Wait, uh, let me unmute you. Um, I decided to sell. I decided to sell um a few books and a few toys mm -hmm. that you don't use anymore. Um, I I think I might not use them anymore, so I just decided to like um sell them. That's a great thing to do. That's a great idea. And that is your, uh, what was your pledge about, Nadine? Let me unmute you again. Um, to, to, um, to um, sell some things we don't need anymore so that we can donate money for the orphans. Okay, great, great. I see some of you said, can I uh, share it to Ms. Reba? Last time we didn't have enough time. So I think it's better if we get started right now and Ms. Reba will watch the video after, okay? I uh, already read 10 pages of Surah Al-Baqarah. Good job, Mohammed. Mm. Okay, Masfa, do you want to show us? So right now, while I was waiting for the call to come, I made these more bookmark. This one's a rabbit one. Mm hmm That is so pretty, mashallah. Is this parrot one? Move it more in front of your face. Okay, great. That is beautiful as well. I made this rainbow one. Mm hmm And I made this one. 
That is also very beautiful. Nostalgia. And you see the pom poms I made? I put them onto a pencil. Mm -hmm. Wow. You could tell them with a pencil as well. Yeah. Great job. Great job. Masta has, like, for the last three classes, she has been showing us what she's been doing. And I think Masta is the one who has raised the most money until now. How much has you, have you raised, Masta? I've almost raised 200. Mashallah. Everyone do a sign of applause for Masta. That is great. You should all follow her example, right? And Masta has already mentioned a lot of great ideas about what you can do, right? If you're feeling like you don't know what to do or you don't know where to get started, Masfa has made bookmarks, she has made toys, uh, drawings to sell, mashallah. Yeah, that is nice, Mayim. Okay, who wants to go now next? What currency? Masfa, I think Masfa is from uh, the UK, so probably pound, right? Yes, great job. See, almost 200 pounds, that is amazing. Uh, who wants to go next? Danielle and Gina, tell us, what's your idea, how much you have raised? Uh, at the playgroup, uh, I sell toys, a lot of prize, then I got lots of money. How much money then, did you get? Not a lot, I think. And right when I help my mom and dad do chores, they give me money. But oh, I, really? But right, but right now I raised uh two uh twenty. Twenty. 20? Okay, I don't know how much that is in euro or pound or dollars, but it sounds I like a lot. Ringgit is a Malaysian money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me show you. Uh, what does it look like? <laughs> okay, show us. Uh, Yasmin and Alisa, I raised five pounds. Don't worry, it's um, a great point to get started. Go up from there, right? You can go down from there. Hey. It was inside the room, Jenna. Who else wants to go and show us? Raise your hand. Wait, I, until Danielle finds her money, we'll go with someone else. Okay, Afifa, do you want to tell us? Um, I made these loom band bracelets, but I haven't like. Hey, okay, wait! Them. You haven't sold them yet. Are you I going to start? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to do in my Quran class. So I go mm -hmm. because my mom told them. That is beautiful. Great job. You can start in your Quran class. You can start in Tarawi at the masjid or to your friends at school. I mean, that is a great point to get started. Mashallah. Good job, Afifa. Hopefully, we will, raise a, we will raise a lot of money for those in need, right? That's the least we can do this Ramadan. Who else wants to go now? Uh, Safiya is asking, how do you sell things that you may not use anymore? Like toys or books or... Yeah, like you can reach out to your friends first, ask them if they, if they want it and tell them that like probably um, people may not be uh, ready to just buy something that um, you could just give them for free, right? Normally, but you can tell them like I'm raising money for charity and they're more ready to pay for it. You understand? Because we're here on a higher level, we're doing something better, not just selling stuff to earn money. We're earning money for the orphans, right? Okay, who else wants to go? Uh, I think Daniela is showing us the money. Great, <laughs> yeah. Great, Daniela, thank you. I didn't know what the Malaysian money looked like. Now I know, thank you. 
Okay, who else wants to go now? Tell us. Come on, we're Ramadan racers, and racers usually have to compete, right? So who else has raised money? Tell us how much, how, and what your pledge is. I see uh, Farah has her hand up. Do you want to go? No? Okay. Who else wants to go? Zoha, do you want to go? Yes? Tell everyone how much money have you raised? How have you raised them? So how are you going to go or no? Yeah. I will in the same space, but no one came there to donate. So I, I made a... a I made a painting and now I'm gonna sell it. Really? Uh, Can you show us the painting? The, the, wait. It's gonna become completed. Oh, wait, let me pin it for everyone to see. Wow, did Zoha, did you make that? Yeah. yeah. How much do you intend for uh, selling it for? I think 50. 50. And I, teacher, I, I also made a Facebook page, but no one still did it. So I mean, I usually did. people don't go like just to donate to things they don't know about. But if you go like to them personally and you're like, hey, I'm selling you this and I'm doing this for this reason, right? To raise money for the orphans. And then they're more ready to be like, oh, they feel involved and they, they feel better because they're doing it for a good cause, right? So I don't think making like GoFundMes and uh, pages on Facebook, I don't think people are just gonna come and donate to you guys. But if you go out and sell things, that is Absolutely. Yeah. So what is I, the name? I'm Poster and a, and a Roblox character. Wow, did you make that yourself? Yeah, I made it by myself. Great job, great job, Taha. Mashallah, hopefully you will sell many of those. How much do you intend selling them for? Each two dollars, at least. Okay. And hopefully if it succeeds, you can raise the price, right? Okay, good job, Zoha and Taha. Okay, who else wants to go? See, Maspa, Zoha and Taha, Afifa, they're already getting started and raising money. Who else has started? Tell me. Raise your hand. Is Arush here? Because last class we didn't get to. Okay, she's not here. Finish her. Two dollars in UK pounds. I think it's like one point five something. Okay, who else wants to go? Come on, guys, show us. If you haven't gotten started on raising money and selling things, just tell us your idea. So hopefully we can inspire someone else. Someone is asking, what is Slack? Slack is a, like a nap where people talk to each other. For those in our group that don't use Facebook, we have made a group on Slack and we communicate with each other there, okay? Yes, it's a type of social media. Now, who wants to go? Who wants to tell us how much they've raised until now? Come on, guys. I know you guys have raised money. Don't be shy. Mystery Bear will join us shortly, okay? Uh, Yasmin and Ali, what do you sell at home? Tell us. Do you want to... Wait. Yasmin and Ali. Uh, Yusuf is asking... Um, I just make like paper things and I sell it at home and I sometimes donate for my pocket money. Uh, how, how are you going to start selling to your friends as well, inshallah? Uh, yeah. And what when have you made? Sorry. Um, when school starts, I'll sell um to my friends, and um I make like these little paper houses that are three D. 
Really? Yeah. Uh, are you on Facebook or on Slack so you can send pictures to us and we can see them? Okay. Okay. Good job. Uh, Ilham is asking, how do I start selling? So first of all, I think you have to come up with an idea of what to sell. And I think a lot of your friends have shared here great ideas of what you can uh, sell, like uh, toys you don't use anymore or clothes you don't use anymore, uh, books, uh, bookmarks, uh, bracelets that they have made by hand with beads or like something else. And I think uh, the first step to start selling is to find people who are interested in buying. And it, now we don't just want to find kids because, you know, they want toys. We want to find people who want to sponsor our um, mission, right? Because our mission is to help orphans. And for example, you can, first, if you don't have any friends or you don't know many people, you can go to your un uh, aunts or uncles or cousins and tell them like, hey, I'm doing this and I'm selling these for this much for this purpose, right? And hopefully they will feel like uh, they will donate to you. And after you've done that, and after you've gained some confidence, like, hey, I can do this, you can go out like your friends or you can make a stand, like some uh, kids have made lemonade, lemonade stands, right? And you can do that as well. And hopefully we're, we're gonna raise a lot of money for the orphans. Okay, I think this is here. Who knows the special greeting to her? The moment she joins, remember, I'm sure all of you know. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Bright and shiny as always, Ramadan Ritzers. Musa? Assalamu <laughs> alaikum. Everybody, please turn on your camera. Are you still racing with your good deeds? Are you guys still racing? Great. I hope you are winning the race. <laughs> Today we are really going to talk about racing. Right. Because it's a very special topic. Today. So guys, turn on your cameras. You almost scared me. I always scare you, Aqib. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on your cameras, everybody. Turn on your cameras. Show us your beautiful faces. Right. Uh, we have Ashar, Saad, Anas, Alia, Hannah, Safiya, Hafsa, Aiden, Alia, Farah, Aiden, Zion, Safiya, uh, Yasmina, Alia. Turn your cameras on. Uh, testing. Remember the day you said... <laughs> Okay, what happened to my camera? It just crashed. It crashed. Camera crash. Okay. It says fail to communicate. The device has either been stopped has either stopped responding or has been disconnected. <laughs> okay, back one. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, I want to show you guys something. So remember our fundraising, right? I want to show you something. So we made a fundraising page for all of us where inshallah we're going to, um, you know, ask people to donate, right? So I want to show you something. I did, we did something really special there. Uh, so there it is, right? Sister uh, Sabria will put the link for you guys in the chat. But there is the page. And on this page, you will see... Oh... Is that someone we know? Oh. Oh, look at that. It's all of us. <laughs> right? Our pledges. You guys, right? Yusuf, Aqib, Musfa, uh, uh, Arisha, Arush. Oh, look at you. Arisha and Arush kind of look similar to me. <laughs> okay, and we got... Uh, Saad and Suleiman and Daniel and Halima and Zaria and uh, oh, it doesn't say your name, but you are there too. <laughs> right? And as you guys are adding your pledges to the Padlet, we will add it to this page, inshallah. So when people come and they see, they want to donate, right? 
uh, they're like, hmm, should I donate or not? Hmm, what is this project all about? Right? They hear from you guys, right? And you get to tell them that this is what I'm doing and they sponsor you, right? Uh, because of your video, they're inspired that, oh, look, all these kids are trying to help the orphan children. Maybe I should do it too, right? So you, your videos are going to inspire them. That's why we put them there, actually. So guys, um, I'll put the link in the chat. Make sure you share it with your family, friends. Now you can pass it around, right? So they, you know, when you send it to your uncles and aunties, uh, that look, you know, this is what I'm doing. You can donate here, inshallah. And they can put your name in there if you, they want to make, leave a message for you, right? They can put a name so you know how much you are raising as well. Um, okay. So let me. Of that. And apparently it's tax deductible. It's whatever that means. <laughs> okay, Saad is my brother. Ah, I see. I didn't know that. So, mashallah, you both are doing really well. My family now know about Ramadan racers. That's awesome. Hopefully, they are trying to become Ramadan racers too. It's catching right okay guys i'm gonna get into today's story because i love it and i know sister sabria has been asking you about fundraising right yeah who uh, uh, would anybody like to share with me how much have you raised let's take two two shares before we start okay who would like to tell me how much they have raised okay alia how much you have raised mashallah So far, I raised $14. $14! Give her a big hand. That's pretty awesome effort, mashallah. How did you do that, Alia? So, um, every time I started um, a surah in Jazama 100%, then a man gives me $1. Right. So, Alia, also think about how can I go to people and tell them, right, that they can sponsor you. You can, um, you know, you can make your pledge video. Uh, or a flyer, send it to people on WhatsApp, fa email it to your family and friends, right? That this is what I'm sending them the link to this website. Okay, uh, who else would like to share? Okay, how about you guys share in the chat how much you have raised so we can celebrate everybody together? And I saw Zoha, mashallah, I was here. I saw your painting. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. I'm new here and I don't know what we are supposed to do. We are supposed to have fun and learn. It's uh is the team it's all about yeah that's that's a team. Yeah. Oh that's very kind of you, Yusuf, alhamdulillah. <laughs> I hope I don't disappoint you. I sell toys. Okay, Daniela said I sell toys and my friends buy my toys and I have lots of monies. Wow, where is Daniel? Raise your hand so we can speak to you. Okay, Daniel, tell us about it. That's a good business you're doing there. <laughs> I, go, I was playing at the play... I joined the play group, then uh -huh. I sell toys. All of my friends sell food uh, and other things. I sell toys. My my sister sell flashcards, and I I just uh use a lot of prize then uh, uh just random prize then my friend give me a lot. They That's buy my toys a lot. How much have you raised? I raised a lot last year. Then my dad took it as a balance. Uh, you're then telling me about last year. You're telling me about last year, Daniela? Unmute yourself, yeah. And, and I got, I got twen, uh, 20 ringgit. Okay, that's good. Good start, Daniela. Let's keep going, right? I'm going to help a lot of people, inshallah. So how are people raising money? People are raising money like you just heard, right? Uh, from Daniela selling her old toys. Like you heard from Masfa and Zoha, she made a painting and she's going to try to sell it. These days, there are a lot of iftar parties, right? 
Uh, okay, guys, you keep asking the same question, so I just got an idea. Let's brainstorm some ways we can raise some money. Okay, come on, give me some ideas. We're gonna brainstorm and write it on this whiteboard right now. So let's give me some ideas in the chat, guys. Let's let's storm our brains together. Okay, somebody said sell toys, right? You could sell your old toys. Sell old toys. Make flyers. Oh, that's running really fast. Okay, okay, okay. You have too many ideas. <laughs> make bracelets. Uh, make paper craft. Wow. Okay, maybe we didn't need this. You guys are already filled with so many ideas. Maybe paper crafts and you could sell them. Sell bookmarks. Yeah, I've seen bookmarks sell really well. Bookmarks. Teach. You could do a class of your own, right? I'm writing too slow for you guys. Decorations. Sell art. Uh, old books. Drawings. Uh, drawings is the same as arts. Okay, posters. Uh, you could make a poster and walk up to people, right? Uh, you can write poems and sell them. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Don't spam right now, guys, because anyways, it's going fast. Comics. I wish there was, like, a slow mode. Cupcakes. If I missed yours, then please type it again. Very hard for me to go back up. Uh, food, right? You can make different food items and sell them. Um, make, uh, make a PS5. <laughs> I don't think you can make a PS5. Uh, let me try to see what's up bookmarks open stall in a public place yeah great i was gonna ask next that exactly let i'm just scrolling up to see if anything i missed uh it just keeps saying see it read bagara 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 what is bagara is that somebody's name or are you telling me to read something Jewelry, jewelry, cave, bracelets, lemonade, lemonade, cake, jewelry. Okay, yeah, so I didn't miss that much. Okay, jewelry. If I missed yours, please type again. Lemonade. Paintings I already wrote. Uh, pom pom. Somebody keeps saying pom poms. Okay. Um, men make origami, origami, right? That's paper art. Or origami what about eat cards you could set eat cards and decorations yeah we already got decoration you get sell eat cards uh you could make hampers that's right you could make hampers and sell them yard sale yeah very good yard sale sweets you could buy like a big uh bag uh, of mint uh you know chocolates right you know those uh, big bags which have uh, small chocolates and sell each one separately you can make m money that way right so for example you like buy a bag of mentos but you sell each one separately from it um candy right garage sale yeah we just wrote the garage sale already what else? Cake, Xbox, perfume, uh, hijabs and abayas, cafe, chocolate, car boot sale, stuff. You can make a lot of stuff, right? Like DIY stuff. You can make, make, um, make things from, r you, if you go online, you will find, uh, ways to make, anybody knows how to make like a galaxy bottle or snow globe? Right? You can make so many things yourself at home. And then you could, uh, you know, sell them. Okay, now you guys tell me. We, so we made all these things. Where do we sell them? How do we sell them? So let's brainstorm some ways. How do we sell them? Where do we sell them? How do we sell them? Family. Okay, how do you sell to family? Uh, f so family. Now we guys, eBay. Okay, eBay. Etsy uh, on a stall in a public public place mosque friends 
Amazon gum tree home to home oh this is going so fast home to home uh how how else driveway you could uh, put a stall up at driveway cousins school shops you could go outside the shops and sell them okay what else what else iftar party how where else can we go to raise money uh whatsapp facebook parents social media right your parents why are you guys are like really brilliant look at this chat <laughs> i don't think you needed ideas you're filled with ideas parks and people think oh what can kids do <laughs> look at this chat Crypto. Uh, how do you sell with crypto? Football games? Yeah. Football games. What is vinted? I don't know. Okay. Something is called vinted. What is it? I have never heard of it. Pinterest. Okay. An online store to sell. Okay. I didn't know about that. At Iftar, I wrote that. How else? You get email. Email family and friends whatsapp uh you know your mom probably ha is part of lots of whatsapp groups right whatsapp groups you could send message there okay so we got a lot of ideas guys right you could make all these things and you could sell at all these places <laughs> right so many options so many options or you could make a flyer that i am raising money for orphans then you have you know even if you don't have to sell anything right you all you need to do is make a flyer tell people i have this pledge please help me right R sponsor my pledge ray help me raise money you could make a flyer and go up to people and ask them to donate that's it like make a donation box and go up to people and ask them to donate you don't even have to make anything um, you can uh, you already ha all those you of all of you who recorded a video right the video is not just to sit on a website right you want to make sure now your family your friends see your video right otherwise what would be the point of making the video if nobody's seeing it right so make sure you share it with uncles aunties grandparents right friends whatsapp it to people email it to people uh, share it on social media this is what I'm doing this Ramadan and uh, that way they can donate so um, um, yeah you can share this link with your video so when you share your video you don't have to create another GoFundMe page you can share this simple link imanpower.com slash orphans and that way your family and friends can donate to it inshallah okay is that clear to everybody you don't have to make things. You can make things if you want to make things. Or you can just walk up with a flyer and or use your video to raise donations, inshallah. Okay, guys. Let's talk about effort. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> Somebody is diving the theme, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk about our mother. Khadija, who knows her, Khadija radiallahu anha, right, she have worked hard all her life, right, she was a businesswoman, right, a very successful businesswoman, and then she married Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and they were very successful, they were very rich, they were very respected in the whole city, right, they were the most popular couple in the whole city, and people loved them. But then one day, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu became a prophet. When a he met Angel Jibreel Sallam at the cave of Hira, right? Everybody knows that story, right? Now, when that happened, when that happened, Khadija radiallahu anha and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu went through a very difficult period. All those people who were friends with them, since maybe they were even children, they stopped talking to them. They started being really mean to them. Most of them. Right? 
and they started like like really cursing them and hating on them and things became really difficult but khadija radiallahu anha you know she, she uh, when prophet muhammad sallallahu in fact saw angel jibril he was really scared like what did i just see he was so scared he came back home his body was shaking with fear he was so scared what has just happened he came back home and khadija radiyallahu anha was there and he just said you know cover me up cover me up right uh, like you know uh, so she comforted him at that time she comforted him at her uh, uh, him at that time and uh, took care of him and she told him no you know this is uh, you are not uh, um, you know um allah is not going to uh, uh, humiliate you because you are good to your uh, brothers and sisters and your family to the guest right and she told she gave him um, strength and she always supported him prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam loved her very very much very very much he loved him loved her he loved her extremely and so then after that you know people started being really cruel to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and khadija radiyallahu anha she kept supporting him with her business the income she was making from there right and also emotionally being a good wife being a good friend to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam being a good support to him she was always there for him and then came a time when the quraish did one of the most horrible things they could ever do they bo- boycotted all the muslims so the muslims were living in a um, near a mountain and they were all together and the quraish said we are not going to give them any um, you know let them we are not going to wor- uh, buy anything from their businesses and we are not going to sell anything to them and the muslims were so hungry at that time so hungry they got so poor at that time that um, uh, one of the companions said things got so hard guys this is really sad how difficult things got you can't even imagine so to help you explain to you i'm going to tell you one thing which, which is you might be like what how could this be but this is how desperate the companions were this is how desperate muslims were at that time one of the companions said you know because nobody is selling food for to them or buying like even if they go and say i have money let me buy some food they said no we will not sell you anything so there's no no food they can eat right unless they buy some you know somebody has mercy on them and sells them secretly and so on a companion said we were so hungry that one day he found a shoe somebody had thrown away a leather shoe somebody had thrown away and he boiled it and he ate it he ate a shoe boiled and ate a shoe this is how hungry they were and another companion say said sorry that he he one night he was sleeping and he saw something crawling he saw something crawling but it was night he didn't know what it so he didn't see he felt something crawling he felt something crawling and he didn't know what it was but obviously it was some kind of an insect right crawling at night or something Right? He t- he was so hungry. He grabbed it and ate it. Can you imagine how hungry a human being must have been to do such things? Right? Not nothing funny about it at all. Nothing funny about it at all. Just extremely sad. so so hungry they can't even think straight what's happening what am i doing you have never been that hungry in your life it was a very difficult time can you imagine how hard it must have been for prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he's their leader 
how many it's you know how long it had been almost 10 years since people accepted since uh, you know prophet muhammad sallam it wasn't like uh islam came and next day people became muslims 10 years prophet muhammad sallam gave dawa and they were hardly 100 muslims but he kept going he kept going he kept going and khadija radiyallahu anha was supporting him but then she died that year in the boycott year she died Did she ever get to see that Islam spreads all over the world? Did she ever get to see the result of her great efforts in this world before she died? No, but she kept making effort, right? When she died, there were hardly any Muslims, but she continued making effort. Do you think Allah will reward her today even for the even for your islam i think so because without her support could islam have spread so far no so she kept going she was prophet muhammad sai sam support when there was nobody to support him she was the first person to become a muslim right first person to become a muslim in the world she was the first so she but she never saw how later on prophet muhammad sallam went to medina he became a leader and then he became came back to makka victorious over makka right with an army of 10000 that the world had never seen that time and he comes to makka and he peacefully takes over and now muslims are in all over the world every continent thousands millions billions right she didn't ever got to see all that but she kept making effort and allah kept rewarding her effort so in janna khadija radiyallahu anha she got good news though that she will have a palace in janna a home in janna which will be like a pearl really peaceful so her home in janna will be like a pearl and no noise like it will be just very peaceful home and she is going to be very close to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of course So why am I telling you the story? And also, you think about Prophet Muhammad says him, ten years he is giving dawa, and nobody becomes a Muslim. I mean, hardly anybody becomes a Muslim. People are just rejecting him, being mean to him. The reason I'm telling you this today, guys, is because I think you are in a similar position right now. Are you guys making effort to help other people right now? Is it hard that effort? Yeah, sometimes maybe a thought occurs in your mind. I don't know if I can help the orphans. I don't know if I'm making this, but I don't know if anybody will want it, buy it from me, or I don't know if they're gonna donate to me. If you're just using your pledge, right? I don't know if I go up to people, will they actually listen to me? Do you think Prophet Muhammad says some hard these thoughts? If I go up to them, will they listen to me? Obviously, he did. Did he stop? What would have happened if he had given up? Would you be a Muslim today? He didn't give up because he wanted to make sure that you get to hear about Islam. Because he wanted to help you. So this is sincerely, continuously keeping making. He ten years he kept making effort. He never saw the result. Khadija radiallahu never saw the result. She kept making effort. So guys, some of you are maybe going to make a lot of effort. but you might not see the same result as you might hear somebody else in the class like oh 400 dollars a thousand dollars i only have 20 bucks do you think allah will reward you less no allah doesn't reward you according to your result allah rewards you according to your effort yeah effort that's right allah rewards you according to your effort so allah will reward you no matter what for every second that you are making effort every second you are making effort you are making your craft you are making your painting you are making your flyer you are making your video allah is rewarding you there are angels surrounding you right how cool is that even if let's say nobody bought from you you do a stall nobody comes 
Do you think Allah will not reward you? Allah will reward you maybe even more for your patience. Right? So don't worry about the result. Of course, we, we, we need to have a goal, right? Racers have a goal to win, right? But we are not so worried about it because our main reason is to please Allah, right? That's why we are so sincere about it. It's about Allah, to please Allah. And Allah appreciates, and Allah appreciates immensely more than you can ever know. So let me now um, show you a video. This is a really funny video. Not a funny video, but you know, it's interesting. <laughs> it has a lot of, lot of, lot of fun stuff in it. Anybody has a cat? Anybody has a rabbit? Okay, you will see why I'm asking you that. <laughs> Do rabbits and cats like each other? <laughs> I had a rabbit once. And it died. One day I opened a drawer and I found a dead body of the rabbit. Like, why are you telling your scary story, Sister Ariva? <laughs> the rabbit, I was so sad, actually. It was such a cute rabbit. The rabbit ate a pesticide that was in the garden, right? It, just, it escaped its cage and it ran into something and it ate some pesticide. And then I, that was in the drawer, actually. It crawled and like it jumped into the drawer. And the drawer had some, um, you know, pesticide or something for the plants. And it ate it and it died. Yeah. Very sad. I was so sad. But since that day, I decided I'm not getting any more rabbits. Right? <laughs> Let them roam around in the wild. Australia has a lot of rabbits and kangaroos. Okay, guys, here it is. You will see why I was talking about a rabbit. That story I didn't need to share with you. I just shared with you. It's a personal story about my rabbit that I loved very much. Have you ever noticed how different animals all have different talents and weaknesses? They all have certain abilities and some weaknesses. Some run really fast, some are swimmers, some dig, some are small with no claws. For example, rabbits can run very fast, dig holes, but at the same time, it is also very small and doesn't have claws, so it can't really protect itself. It can run fast and, you know, dig holes to protect itself. But if a cat manages to corner it, it can't really fight back in it can't really defend itself because it doesn't have any claws and it's so small. Similarly, other animals also have their own strengths like lizards can change color, some lizards can, tigers can run really fast, fishes can swim, tortoise can swim, they have this shell to also protect themselves, disguise, and so on. Similarly, we human beings are also all different from each other. We all have our own strengths and weaknesses. We are all different from each other. You are unique in the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has designed you. No one is exactly like you and you are not exactly like anybody else in the world. You have some strengths and some talents some things that you are really good at and then there are other things you are not so good at you might be pretty bad at them actually like you know what I'm really bad at one thing I'm very bad at is this <laughs> this is how I draw <laughs> so I am really not so good at it nobody is perfect and nobody is good at everything let's say there were two kids Bango and Kango <laughs> Bango is very good at maths and Kango is not so good at it. Bango says to Kango, you are such a loser. You always score so badly. Hmm, is that true though? Is K 
Kango a loser just because he scores badly in maths? No. Go, uh, Kango could turn around and say to Bango, So what? I might not be good at maths, but I am so good at drawing or writing or I'm always doing projects to help you, help others. Can you do all that? Can you draw as well as I can? Similarly, we are all different and have different things we are good at. That's the way Allah has made us. It would be such a boring world if we were all just the same, don't you think? Some of you may be good at memorizing Quran very fast and reciting it. Others might not be so good at it. Some of you might find it very hard to read Arabic. But that just means you have to put in more effort into it. But you know what? There is a really wonderful thing. Schools are made of humans who can't see everything. So they only reward you for the end result, the result of your test or assignments. Because they don't really know how much effort you put in, they can't always see you. But Allah sees everything and He rewards you for every little bit of effort you make for His sake. So let's say that Kango and Bango had a math test. Now, Bango is very good at math, so he only had to study for one hour and he was done. And in the end, he scored 100 out of 100 in the test. But, Kango was not so good at math. So he had to put in a lot of extra effort. But he did, and he kept thinking of Allah, that Allah, I am doing it for your sake, to be, to give it my best for your sake. So he studied hard, extra hard, for hours and hours and hours. And in the end, poor guy, and in the end, he only scored 60 out of 100. Not so good, eh? You know who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to reward more? Of course, Kango. If he was doing it for the sake of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to reward him loads and loads more. For every single minute Kango spent studying, there would have been rewards built for him in Jannah. Every second he was studying, there will have been reward built for him in heaven. So even though he scored less in the test, maths test, he is actually the winner in the end. Same goes for Qur'an, memorization, recitation, praying, whatever else, whatever good you are doing. If it is hard, that just means you need to put more effort and you will be rewarded more. And isn't that what we actually really want? <laughs> and if it's easy, then the same thing. You need to put in more effort to memorize even more and learn even faster. If it's easy for you, then do it even more. Put in more effort to do it even more. Allah has made it easy for you, so you thank Allah by doing it even more. And that's how you can also accumulate even more reward. Inshallah. You know who is the only person who's really a loser? It is the person who just gives up. Who just sits there and does nothing. The only loser is a person who thinks he's a loser. He might have lots of talents and abilities, might be very special, but because he doesn't use any of them for doing anything good, just sits there thinking, I am no good, then of course he's going to be no good. He's going to be a loser. He just treats himself like a loser. Allah has sent you to this world as a unique individual with some special talents and we must make all the effort all the time that we can to use the gifts we have to serve Allah in whatever way we can to help other people no matter how old you are whether you are 6 or you are 16 the more you do the more your talents will grow inshallah and the more you can help others 
and earn the pleasure of Allah. If we put our effort, if we put our effort in the right way for the right reason, we can never ever lose. We will always be winners, inshallah. Okay, so what did we learn from this video, guys? Tell me in the chat. Oh, my camera is not facing me. <laughs> Try hard, put in the effort. No one is perfect. Right? What else? What else? Tell me. No one is perfect. You are not a loser. I'll nef definitely not. about that we have to try hard whoever gives up is a loser without even trying if you give up right you're a loser if you call yourself yeah and who does that make happy shaitan do it for the sake of allah no one is perfect never give up continue okay guys so tell me so in the journal, we have a really interesting question today, right? Let me just, uh, wait. I open the journal. Now I have like a gazillion tabs and I'm looking, where is my journal? From the 30,000 tabs I have opened. Um, not 30,000, I'm at 30. <laughs> okay, let me open it actually. Journal for kids. What page is this? Hmm. Journal for kids. Open, open, open. Heartwheel journal. Heartwheel journal. Okay, if you have your journal, open it because you're going to answer the question there because it's a really important question. I think some of your friends might actually have this problem right now. Oh, I really want to. Okay, 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 hold on. Ariba, be patient. <laughs> okay. So the question is, should I share my screen? I'll share my screen. Okay. So the question is, Roro is 12 years old. He finds it very hard to go to Taravi every day. He just wants to go and play basketball or Minecraft. Hmm. Does it sound like somebody you know? Who knows somebody like that? Let's say you were Roro's best friend and want him to pray Taravi. What would you say to him to help him want to come and pray Taravi? Okay. What would you say to Zoro, Roro, okay, to help him pray Taravi? I just had an idea. How about we try this in the breakout rooms? Okay. So we're going to do some role play going to do some role play. One of you in the breakout room is going to be Roro. <laughs> okay? You're going to act like Roro. And other are going to others in the breakout room are going to help Roro. Okay? But Roro you keep saying, "No." Okay? Don't make it easy for them. <laughs> and in the end you can be convinced, but to make it hard for them. Okay, so you want to do it here on the breakout room? Let me see, what is the time actually? Uh, let's do it here. Okay, Khaled wants to be the Roro. Okay, Khaled, you are Roro. Okay. <laughs> okay, who, who would like to help Roro? <coughs> okay, Af Afifa. Go ahead, Afifa. Um, if I was Roro's friend, I would say him... I say to him that if you don't pray the Wali, um, Allah will be happy with you and Shaitan will be happy. Okay, what do you think, Roro? Uh, 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 well, in uh, Minecraft, we can pretend to pray to Rawi. 
L. <laughs> okay, good one, Khalid. Good one. You're doing your job right. <laughs> <laughs> but let's let's just to be clear you cannot pretend to pray tarawi in minecraft <laughs> there is no such thing okay guys just so we are clear but anyways good job khalid <laughs> so that's what khalid, uh, roro answers okay who would like to help in now yeah daniela Uh, his bicycle uh, practice. Bicycle I, practice? I think she means how to ride a bicycle or something. Yeah, okay. Stay, like, did you listen to the question, Daniela? So we are trying to help Roro focus in her, his Tarawi, right? Because he doesn't want to go for Tarawi. He just want to play Minecraft. Okay, Ilham. Yeah, Talk to... Try. Uh, yeah. Your efforts and 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 the more and the more efforts he puts in, the the, the more reward Allah will reward you. Okay, Khalid, you have to put in your effort, and the more effort you put in, the more Allah will reward you. Okay, let's take one more, and then you can answer that. Uh, okay, who else? Yeah, Taha and Zoha. You guys can also type in the chat box. I I can say them out loud. Yeah, Taha and Zoha. Ramadan is Ramadan is just one month. It's just for few days. It's just for yeah. few days. <clears throat> yeah, you can play Minecraft later, but Ramadan will be gone. It's just for a few days. Good point. Okay, what do you have to say now, Khalid? Uh, uh fasting the entire day makes me tired, and then when um. Uh, then when it's iftar, I eat a lot, and then I will go to sleep. And then when it's time to pray tarawi, uh, I, I still want to sleep. Okay, he still wants to sleep, guys. He doesn't want to pray tarawi. Okay, who would like to help him? Who has an answer? Okay, uh, of uh, a FIFA sister. Um, <coughs> you don't pray, we'll ask someone to splash water on you, so you have no choice to wake up. Yeah. <laughs> you could splash some water on yourself, Khalid. No, 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 sorry, no, no. Okay. Um, 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 uh, 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 I, I will get up and then, um, uh, I'll just pray to Rakat of Tarawi. Okay. Now, okay. We, it's, we have made progress, guys. He is going to pray too, only. Let's see if we can get him to complete it. Praying is a way to remember Allah, Ali is saying. <laughs> Praying is a way to remember Allah. And if you pray first, Allah will reward you for your efforts, Roro. And if you don't, Shaitan will be happy. I mean, um, Not isn't, good. isn't the father than sunnah enough? Oh, he's just saying, I just want to do sunnah. Don't want to make all this extra effort. Okay, Aiden. You're doing a great job, Khalid. <laughs> I'm glad I picked you. Okay, Aiden. I would tell him, uh, if you pray, I'll let you play Minecraft for the whole week. Uh. <laughs> ben, uh. ben, he's only going to play one night. Huh. <laughs> and then no, the whole week is he on. prays he prays the whole Ramadan. Oh then he, plays, I he plays Minecraft. <laughs> okay, so, so he plays on I I think I finished. If I no. If I if, I would accept the offer if it was for one week and I get to play for the entire month. But you're oh. telling me to do more than I'm actually getting in return. So um no. No, he doesn't feel like it's a fair deal. <laughs> Okay, you will be peaceful and even more happy after praying, not only in this world, but in the hereafter. <coughs> if you pray, you are having a private meeting with Allah. Wow, great know. advice. Um, uh, uh, but Isn't that better than playing Minecraft? Like meeting, you know, who are we meeting? A Minecraft guy? Yeah. <laughs> you are having a private meeting with Allah. 
I mean, I can't develop khushu. Oh, he I says can't... he can't focus in his salah, so he feels like, what's the point? The thought of Minecraft just, I feel like overwhelming. It's, it's overwhelming. I just feel like I have to play Minecraft every single second. Okay, he feels like he has to constantly play and he constantly <laughs> thinks about Minecraft. Are you feeling okay? You want to, oh, you, uh, yeah. You, if you are not fasting, you should probably drink some water. <laughs> Khaled? What? No, <coughs> no, I am fasting. It's okay. 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 Close all the internet connection and say to his friends not to play with them now, with him, not until he will pray Taravi. Like uh, you, my, you can play Minecraft <laughs> offline, so uh, that's not going to do a lot. If you pray, Allah will make you even better at Minecraft. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing. <laughs> um, if I pray, uh, I think I'm okay at Minecraft now. Uh. Oh, you can be even better. Think about that. Yeah, Allah will make you even better at Minecraft. If you pray, Tarabi will get a lot of reward. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, I'll pray four raka of Tarawi. Oh, we are at four, guys! <laughs> That's great progress. <laughs> okay. If you pray, you can win Jannah, and that would be better than winning Minecraft. I mean, I, I can go to Hajj and then get, I mean, and then do, and then go to Jannah, I guess. Okay. He plans to one day in his <laughs> life, maybe when he's really old and has played enough Minecraft, go do Hajj. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we I read that one already. Okay. Uh delete his game. <laughs> I, I just get to re-download it. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, that's exactly what my mom used to do. She used to take the TV, like literally physically, she would pick up the TV, she would open up the cupboard, which had a lock and a key, and she would put the TV in the cupboard and it stayed there. Whole Ramadan <laughs> in the cupboard, locked away. No I, actually, um, I actually am allowed. I'm not allowed to um, touch any devices in Ramadan. That's great. I, that's a very good idea. And in fact, you know, guys, when I grew up, uh, so obviously my mom wasn't doing that for me. So I used to do that myself. That I would take the device or uh, unhook some wires and go and put them somewhere I will never be able to reach uh, when I'm tempted to go watch TV. And things like that. Okay, great. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Give me some other good ones. We are at four. Let's get him to eight, guys. Break his device. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, that is insane. That is insane. I buy a PS Five for five hundred dollars, and uh, I get. If you my- pray, if you pray, you will get seven times reward, and you will get a higher place in Jannah. A higher place. I mean, I think Jannah. Uh, at least I am in Jannah. That's, That's fine. You are in Jannah. No, no, no. no so you don't I want do, a higher place in Jannah. You're like me. happy with the lower place. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna be happy with the lower place. At least I go into Jannah. Are you sure you will be in the lower place then? Maybe that those other four raka is what you need to make it there. <laughs> yeah, I think four raka is just just okay for me he can play <laughs> minecraft in jenna oh you can play minecraft in jenna uh uh, uh yeah i guess Maybe it's it's not it's not gonna, it's gonna, gonna be, be like the minecraft on earth it's gonna be like a lot, a lot, different in every sujood of other salah say to give him hidayah in What's every it? sujood of oh, salah okay. So ask Allah to give you hidayah. Make it easy for <coughs> to pray for uh, all of the Yeah, that's a good idea. Make a lot of dua. Take away all his money and break his device. <laughs> if you pray. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Why? You can become a Minecraft player in Jannah. Allah will give you PlayStation for free or less money if you pray. And it's Ramadan, so you will be more likely to get it. Yeah, it's true. Right, more your dua is so much more powerful in Ramadan. Every sujood will give you gaming console. Yeah, you every sujood you can make dua uh, for getting better, better, better games. If you don't pray, Allah may make you bad at Minecraft. You can become actually, it's a kind of true. 
that the thing that we leave Allah for, right? So, so or some people, it might be Minecraft. Some people, it might be YouTube. Some people, it might be something else. Whatever that thing is you are choosing above Allah, I will guarantee you this, guys. That thing is going to hurt you. That thing is going to give you so much pain. So much pain. Unbearable pain. It is going to hurt you. If it's a friend, you pick about Allah, right? That I'm going to go with my friend and I'm going to miss my salah or do the haram thing with my friend, right? That friend is going to betray you and hurt you. If it's a family member, if it's a game, if it's a whatever that thing is, gadget, it's going to hurt you in life. Guaranteed. It's going to give you unbearable pain. Because and that pain is also Allah's mercy for you. Because he's trying to help you, correct you. It's like, it's like you know, um, medicine. Medicine is bitter. <laughs> but it helps you correct your body, right? So Allah is giving you like a warning bell to come back to the right way. Okay. Allah might make you ill if you don't pray. No. <laughs> Mashallah, he's praying, he's praying for it. Right? It's not like Allah hates him. Like, oh, you didn't pray for extra nafil. <laughs> right? He's doing pretty good, guys. Mashallah. He's prayed his fard. Right? He's doing four. So Alhamdulillah. Okay. Allah will make you better than dream at oh Allah will make you better than dream at Minecraft. <laughs> uh, uh, to be honest, uh, I am and Roro inside of me is also anti dream. I'm, okay. anti-dream I'm not a dream fan. I am not a dream fan. So uh so that's right. So you can beat him. Okay. Then. <laughs> Wait no. If I pray, I already become I become better at Minecraft every time I pray. Every sujood. So uh, if I pray uh, a bit every every single day, I, I end up becoming better than him. So I don't have to pray an extra rakat. I mean, it's like, it's like, um, it's like, how do I say? You know, in games, how there's like, watch this ad to skip the level, just work through the level. I'd rather work through the level other than go to the ad. Kind of like that, I guess. Okay, okay. Agent Bara. If you pray, I'll give you one hundred dollars. How about that? Uh, Why do we need to give him money to pray? He should pray for the sake of Allah, right? Uh, I, 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 I reject that. <laughs> Muhammad, you have to pray. Will of a subject. What? You have to pray. Huh? It's nafal. What do you mean? It's nafal. It's only nafal. Yeah, tarabi is extra salah, right? Oh, okay. You don't have to. You don't have to do. But it's better to do the tarawih. You know what I'm saying, better. man? It's it's not it's not it's not. It's not okay. It's not obligatory. It's an op, it's optional, not ob, not obligatory. I said stop the Minecraft and do your tarawih. If you don't want to do your tarawih, I've been doing my tarawih for ragad. What do you think? Four rakat. You do four rakat. You can play. You can play Minecraft for four hours. Uh, He's already agreed to do four. What are you doing, Muhammad? <laughs> when he, he does four rakat, <coughs> he's already good. He's already agreed to do four. We want to convince him to do four more. <laughs> okay, that, do ten. 10. 10, then you get 10 hours of Minecraft. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's, kinda, that, that, that's more than average. Nah. Most people do 8, 10. Nah, man. No, no, no. Not for okay, me. Let, let's try Agent Banana Man. <laughs> so it's like. It's like, so it's like if, you, if you like read Namaz, like Nuffle. Then you get reward, even if you get a mistake in your frozen sunnah. If you yeah. get your frozen sunnah, then it will be cleared. Yeah. And yeah. It will be cleared, and um, you get extra reward. You get doubled what you did for frozen sunnah. 
That's true, right? Great advice. Uh, you know, the reward will compensate for any mistakes, any shortcomings in your fard sala. Mm, that is a good one. Uh, that mm. is a good one. Oh, he's thinking, guys. Good one. Akim? Should I do six? Uh, nah. Should I do He's, he's, he's almost there, guys. You've almost got him. <laughs> Convince. Akim? <coughs> yeah, and also the Prophet Muhammad has narrated that whoever establishes prayers during the nights of Ramadan <coughs> fate and hoping to attain Allah's reward, he said that all his past sins would be forgiven. Like, the sins that you do not listen to your mom and saying my all of those sins will be <coughs> Yeah, I could get so many of your more sins forgiven. Very good. Uh, Agent Gaming Ninja. Well, he's a gaming ninja. He might have some advice. Yeah, go ahead. Um, <coughs> if you if you pray the whole Taravi every the whole Ramadan, then after Ramadan is finished, I will let you go to your friends and take your whole gaming station. For oh. the whole week. I mean, I mean, this 30 days for a week, still not a good deal. Okay, Nashad. Yeah. So, I, <coughs> so, if you pray, you get unlimited budget in a well, gigantic... Okay, let's try not to tempt him with some more stuff. Let's try to get him to pray for sincerely <laughs> for Allah, not for some reward or more Minecraft, right? Which will hurt him later. Okay, uh, Isa. Um, our uh, Minecraft costs us money, so we should take his money, then delete his Minecraft, so then he can't buy it again, so then he'll pray. <laughs> I mean, no, no. If I already bought a game, I don't have to pay again to download it. Okay, Agent Banana, you want to share more advice? Yeah, our last one really worked for him. It's in Ramadan, it's 30 days. So if you like, do Tarawi all of them days, then you can play for as long as you want. Because and if you do normal namaz, you're clear for you're clear for the rest of the day. So you can play however yeah. you want. If you want to turn it off, you can turn it off. For yeah. Time. If I play as long as I want, which is going to be like, 23 hours and 59 minutes a day and then one minute rest and then it starts again so if i play if i play that long i'm not going to be able to play i'm i'm not going to be able to pray so um uh okay, let's take one last advice and i think that's going to be almost powerful <laughs> and that convinces him okay <laughs> <Adrian Serbia. laughs> so if you do pray, huh. and this, if you think this is your Jannah, your Jannah will be even better than this. You can have unlimited Minecraft every day if you pray eight rakat. Yeah. Wait, that's going to be better than this? Okay, I'll, 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 okay, I'll, I'll pray six. <laughs> Okay, oh. I think that's great, mashallah. We have done six. That's great. That's well. well done. Very good, Khalid, mashallah. Give every, give him a big hand, everybody. He was so good. He was so good. I'm so glad we picked him. Mashallah. Well done, Khalid. You were really good. It's like you've been doing this acting all your life. <laughs> you really know Roro. <laughs> <laughs> okay and you know um one thing uh roro said that uh, clicked in my brain and roro said that uh i don't have hoshu in my salah so i don't know like a uh, private meeting with allah um it didn't uh, click with him it's like but i'm not thinking about allah in my salah guys let me ask you if let's say i'm praying and the whole time i'm thinking of minecraft will allah not reward me for my salah at all do I get zero from it? Inshallah, no. Allah will may, may still reward your salah. It's not going to be zero, inshallah. It's not great. It's th your salah should not be like that because you're missing out on huge reward, right? You're missing out on huge reward. If you're not all, the whole time you're doing salah and you're thinking about, that's not how we should pray. 
but doesn't mean that Allah doesn't appreciate you standing up and leaving Minecraft. Every second you're making that sacrifice because Roro could be playing games, right? But he is standing there, even though he like still is struggling, he's still struggling to focus. He's still thinking, of, but still at least he came to the masjid. He did his voodoo. Allah will reward him for every drop of voodoo, right? Allah will reward him for every step he took to come to the masjid. Allah will reward him for every millisecond he was standing. And especially if there was this big temptation of playing Minecraft, isn't it? Allah will reward him for all of his effort. So even if he's struggling to focus in salah, it is still his meeting with Allah. And Allah appreciates it, right? Right? Who agrees with me? Right? Roro, do you agree with me? Do you want to add to your salah now? <coughs> um, yeah, okay. Um. <laughs> Uh, prob probably, uh, I don't want to. It just uh, a bit of me says I have to do it. I'm not yeah, to, that's I good. Have. That's a bit of you, right? That you need to grow, right? Appreciate that bit of you who wants to stand up for Salah the whole night, right? In fact, here is the big one that motivates me, motivates so many people to pray till the Imam leaves. If you pray, if you pray Isha with the Imam, and you finish your salah, how many ever he's praying? Four, eight, 10, 20, right? You stay with him until he finishes. Allah will reward you like you prayed the entire night, the whole night, even though you actually didn't, right? And if you come, so you pray with him all night and you come back for Fajr, right? Allah will reward you like you prayed all night. So it's a huge reward for praying in Jemma. There is a hadith I was reading yesterday and it's in the book, right? Some of you might remember that from Discover the Power of Salah book, right? Where is the book? There is, right? In this, well, there was a chapter where Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, if people just even knew the reward of praying in the masjid in Jama, they would crawl to the masjids. They would crawl. They will be like racing. And if they can't walk, they would crawl. They would do lucky draws. that Because there will be so many people trying to come to the masjid. No, masjid won't be able to fit them. And they would have lucky draws who gets to pray in the masjid. If people knew how immense is the reward of praying in jama in the masjid, right? So it's massive. Okay, guys, it's game time. Let's play. Well done. I loved it today. I, I really enjoyed it. Who enjoyed this role play? Oh, we could do this more often. But really, really good word by Khala. I was really impressed. <laughs> yeah, Alhamdulillah. Okay. So everybody's typing Fishtopia in the... Is it the same person typing? Yeah. It's the same person typing Fishtopia. Okay, let's uh, play tag domination because I told you guys that's what we're gonna play today. So I need to fulfill my promise to you. So let me open the game. Hello, where did I put the game? I hope I saved it. Bismillah, yeah, it is here. So I will. Oh, somebody's written a really long passage. Okay, Ali, if you pray, you will be happy and it will make your heart warm, even if in here and in Jannah, you will be in a high place in Jannah and you can meet Allah and you will have a big house with all the games you want. If you pray, you will be happy. It will... Okay, it's just repeating. Jazakallah <laughs> khair, Ali. Okay, guys. So tag domination. I'll uh, we'll make it six minutes, 20 seconds, continue. Loading, 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 loading. Hopefully we don't run out of place now. Super rich mode is basically like a individual classic mode, like Gimke or like Kahoot, but it's just, you make more money. I hate dog, oh, why do you hate it? 
maybe you don't know how to play it. Do you know how to play it? Do you know how to play it, Agent G Game Ming Ninja? Okay, Mrs. Mrs. Agent Chicken. Oh, I didn't know Mr. Chicken got married. Okay. Go ahead, Ishal. Um, if Roro plays a, a camera cut to Jude, um, he can play, actually, uh, he can play Minecraft for as long as he, as he wants for three weeks after Ramadan. If he prays 10, 10 rakat to Jude after every prayer for the rest of the Ramadan. Okay. Great. Okay, so the way you play, let me explain to you guys. The way you play is you need to force get energy to run. How do you get energy to run? You go and at the bottom here where it says 50 players, there's going to be a button which says, uh, which says what? Which says uh, answer questions. So you click that button, quickly go answer questions. Every time you answer question, you get 1000 energy unless you buy one of these upgrades, right? And then it will tell you to either run or go tag. If it says run, you need to run away from everybody whose name is in the red, right? Everybody whose name is in the red is in the other team. You run away from them. Don't let them tag you. Like Cookie is chasing me right now. <laughs> Hello, Cookie. <laughs> uh and if your name is uh, if it says go tag then you go and run into somebody okay so i will show you how you run into somebody like okay somebody just like you know look look here this you just go stand on top of them right and that tags them like mariam is standing here i will go chase her chase her chase her chase her and now i've tagged her that's tagging right now i can't tag anybody because the game hasn't started right Right now, it hasn't started. We are just in the waiting area, waiting for it to start. So quickly join everybody who hasn't joined. And the game is full. Okay. So if anybody hasn't joined, let me know in the chat. But I'm starting now. If you couldn't join, let me know in the chat so then I can start a new one for you. Okay, so I see a couple of you. Okay, so hold on, Fatima, uh, Taha, Zoha. I will start a new game for you. So guys, now you need to go click the answer question button, right? At the bottom of the screen to get some energy and then you can start running. Yeah, don't worry, I'm just sending the other link. Somebody, I'm not even playing, why are you tagging me? I'm creating the other link. Why does it keep crashing?
So somebody in red is chasing you. You need to run, run away from them. To answer questions, click the answer questions button. Click the answer questions button at the bottom of the screen. Okay, link, the uh, second link is in the chat guys now, those of you who couldn't join. Okay, so let's see here. Um, okay, I'm gonna play. Fatima, you just joined and left. Okay, back. Anybody else joining Fatima there? Or is it just her? Okay, I've got a couple. I only see two players here. Okay, now I'm gonna go tag. Oh, tag, tag. Let's tag somebody. Oh, I need to answer more questions. Ah, what did I answer? Uh, I'm just bad at my making more effort. Allah will reward me for my sincere effort. We have different talents and abilities. Okay, now I've got 6,000 energy. Now let me go run. What am I supposed to do? Run away. I have to run away. Oh, all the green people. Us. You are safe. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Nat saw me. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Isa sees me. I think. Oh no, oh, what Muhammad? Oh, oh no. I'm out of energy, oh no. The one who makes a bad just, oh, what am I answering? No, something is hard for me means it is uh, me it means by making more for okay how much energy do i have three thousand four thousand okay oh come on i'm gonna tag you great <laughs> i'm just tagging a lot of people okay let's see let's see who can i find hmm what, what, are you stuck, Muhammad? And, oh, I ran out of energy too. I think we should just get a lot of, oh, well, I'm just answering wrong questions. Uh, my sincere effort. Ah. Uh, Nat tagged me while I was trying to get energy. Rafe, I need to run away from Rafe. Game over. Okay, see if your team won. The team that won is Echo. Echo team won. Echo domination. Safiya, Ninja, Cookie, Akila, Alia, Salma. Khadija, Rahma, Rahima, Omar, Zina, Zharis, Iman Power, Aisha, Aisha Jamani, Nashad, Rayan, Aqib, Sabria, Khalid, Roro, <laughs> JR, Machine Gaming, Mafsa, Masfa. Okay, that's the team that won, guys. That was fun, right? Are you guys still confused? How to, who enjoyed that game? I'm wondering. I'm curious. Yeah, I love it. I love, the other game is still going. These guys are still playing. 
If you want, you can join their game. You can join their game. This is the link for their game. But it's about to finish as well. If you want, you can join that. Uh, okay, it's finished. It's finished. Game over. Okay. Real Ariba Fahin Ilham Mariam won on <laughs> this one. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, guys, it was fun meeting you again. And I'm going to be back on uh, soon, inshallah. Have a great time on the weekend with Sister Sabria. And um, look forward to seeing you guys soon. Salam alaikum. Keep going, raising as much as we can, right? To save those orphan children this Ramadan, inshallah. Okay, salam alaikum, everybody. See you tomorrow. Salam alaikum.